day in the life of an American living in Trinidad. Today I'm going on my first Chutney cruise in Trinidad with my cousin Natalie. I'm really excited, I've never been on one, but basically it's a day cruise where a bunch of people get together, there are live performances, lots of Chutney music and pan bands, and you know, all the things I love. But the best part of this cruise is that I get to meet my Chutney idol, Rasika Dindayal, and... <laughs> She sings the song, the man and them so lazy, they don't want to walk. It's literally one of my favorite Chutney songs. And we are at such a beautiful like water here. I've never been to this part of Trinidad. It was my first time going and I drove there. It was an easy drive from where I live, like straight roads, um, but it was really nice. This old time calypso music gets me in my feels because it reminds me of my childhood when I used to visit Trinidad as a little girl. So I'm actually here with all of my cousins and this is the first time that we're really hanging out like this because I've been living in the States. So it's really cool to kind of get to mingle with family members that I haven't really had the chance or the opportunity to because I didn't grow up with them. Like I grew up in the States and now I'm living in Trinidad and I get to make up for lost time. <laughs> Y'all know I had to shake my little booty because I was hearing some good music and the vibes are good and I was having a good time. One of the things that I've been dealing with in Trinidad that I will say has been a challenge is it's really hot, you guys. Like, I left smoke to jump in the fire. There is no sun like the Caribbean sun, okay? Like, Caribbean sun has no damper, no filter, no nothing. You're getting full-on sun. And in New York, for example, we have all these chemicals that kind of, like, dampen 
our clouds and our sun and all these buildings and so my doctor would always say oh you're probably not getting enough sun i'm like what i'm like always in the sun she's like no the sun here is different so yeah i'm learning that firsthand because baby like it's hot so wear sunscreen <laughs> Another challenge I face as an American living in Trinidad is I'm used to having a variety of really good takeout food, fast food, restaurants, all of the things that I love, but they don't have that in Trinidad. So I've literally been sticking to Subway. They have a good Subway, so I've been getting lots of subs. Um, they also have like fried chicken joint so kfc popeyes church's chicken the the trifecta of fried chicken but your girl is tired of fried chicken at this point i so desperately want them to get a chipotle i want them to get a shake shack um an in and out burger something you know what i mean and that's another thing i haven't really found uh, good burger joints there for some reason i do not like the burgers there um the the meat it, it almost tastes like impossible burger so i'm just not feeling it you know i also would love them to get mexican food i'm actually missing mexican food out in trinidad and i get this feeling Do you guys want to know something crazy? In Trinidad, they throw the prisoners on a little island so they can't escape, like the one we're looking at here. And the only way to leave this island is by boat. So you can't even swim off this island. So like you're serving your 10, 20 year sentence on a little tiny island where the prisoners get to walk freely because they literally cannot escape. They, you can't swim to like the next island. There's no way to swim out. So like the only way on and off this island is by boat. And I just thought that was so interesting in is living his best life but on to my favorite part Vasika Dindial is performing
want you to know how tiny this woman is. I have a picture of us on my Instagram, and she's like barely reaching my waist. She is so tiny. <laughs> So if you've never listened to Chutney music or don't know what it is, basically in Trinidad, they speak English, right? Like it's Trinidad English. Um, they have an accent, they have slang, different words like every other island, but it is English. But in Chutney, they're using words from the Hindu language because a lot of people in Trinidad are Indians and the Indians who migrated from India came to Trinidad and had that language and they kind of mixed it in with English. <laughs> Also, a lot of words in Trinidad are from the Hindi language. For example, eggplant is called bygon and avocado is called zabuka.
because have you ever partied with Indians before? They get down. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Until next time, bye!